questions are as follows. There was a meeting today in, uh, down the second floor, I don't know if it's the Echo Soccer trusteeship, about revitalization of the General Assembly. It was described as being about the selection process for the next SG. Given that non-resident correspondents cannot enter that area, what, is, what provisions, and given the claim by Christina Galiach of DPI that, there is, that, that the, the, the amount of access is, is identical, that there is, no, that there is no difference, how is it that those with non-resident passes Given that you said that you had one before and you had full access, well, that was before the glass turnstiles were installed down where you go to the stairs and the ramp to go down, and these passes don't work there. So how is a, is a, is a non-resident correspondent interested in covering the process for selecting the next Secretary General supposed to, as others can, stake out that meeting? And the second question is a much more specific question. These focus booths that were promised when, we moved, when the press corps moved back to the Secretariat, there were supposed to be four of them. They were supposed to have UN phones where you could call missions. There are no phones. And it seems like there's, we're down to one focus booth, and a UNCA-affiliated troll Twitter account has today announced that these booths are not even for reporters at all. And in fact, in using them, I've been repeatedly asked to leave them. So I wanted to know what happened to the, to the provision that, that non-resident correspondents can have a space to make a confidential con phone call in, and is it true, as UNCA appears to believe, that these focus booths are not, in fact, for reporters at all, but only for UN staff? Those are good questions for you to be asking our colleagues in the I Department don't, they don't, of Public They don't speak to me. They didn't speak to me before throwing me out, so I'm asking you here. You, They're simple you, questions. You have objectively not been thrown out. I'm looking at you You're right looking now. at me now. I was physically thrown onto First Avenue, and my laptop was thrown on the street, and there's audio of it. So I, you can I say have, what you will. I've if you're comfortable with it, it's fine. That, but I want to know. I'm asking you. It's clearly not the this case is about th that you've been thrown out of the building. I was physically thrown out on February 19th. Do you deny that? This how, room, um, how was this I, room is, is no, part I of was the United Nations, out. you don't understand right now. Apparently, you don't understand the words that I'm saying. I was thrown out. It's a past tense. I was told from the Security Council stakeout that I had to march down the, down the escalator and go on to First Avenue, or I would be turned over to NYPD. This is what I was told. It's all on audio. You've had, you, could, you could listen to it or not, but I dispute your statement. But here's my question. Maybe you don't want to talk about the focus booth, because this your was Your volume a huge... is rising. Take it down a notch. Okay. My question is this, given that this, is, this event may still be going on, and given that it's about the important topic of next SG selection, how is it that people either that currently have or who have been downgraded without due process to non-resident correspondent status, how are they supposed to stake out and cover this meeting? That's a good question to, to ask our colleagues in media accreditation. Please I'm do so. I'm asking you. I don't I, want a minder. I, I, I want to stand I, as I could before February 19th I'm not, in front I'm of the not bill, in the, front of the room, I'm and not talk to the diplomats. I'm not the in-house representative for, for, for you. You, 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 you can, you can you deal with media room, accreditation. You told me to leave the room. You said I lie a lot. It's all on tape, so I'm asking you. Uh, I stand by what I said. Okay, very I good. Have a good day. Excellent.